Hello everyone welcome to Khatri 3D in this video we will finally be posing this character and make it asymmetrical asymmetry is already present in the model and uh, but his head quite looks straight at the moment and i don't want it the more dynamic the pose is the more better the presentation it will bring onto your character so we will finally be posing this character it won't be a really complex posing i will just move the head and rotate it maybe move the hand a little bit you can also get this model on my art station for few bucks it will help support the channel so you can see the model by rotating around and how i created it all these shapes on all angle but if you have followed through all the parts you would already be having this model for now so let's begin and start posing this character so to pose the character in zbrush i use a z plugin called transpose master if you go to z plugin it ships default with zbrush and you would see the transpose master here click it and you would see two options t pose mesh and t pose sub t what t pose mesh does that if you click on the sub tool you have all these sub tool the T post mesh which I have made a shortcut here if I click on it it will merge all these pieces and create your different file temporary so you could mask and isolate some parts pose the parts together and then click on T post sub T which means that it will again make those sub tools separate as they were before and that way uh, you would have you would get the posing undestructible it is a quick and dirty way to pose a character in zbrush it is nowhere near a production ready model if you press shift f and if i go to subdivision level this mesh looks good in terms of good texturing okay z mesh does a really good job it's a auto retopology program but if you are meant to use this model for games or for animation ready and or production ready for example you would have to retopologize it manually without that because for retopologizing manually you would use the loops around the mesh where the deformations happens and where the rig will use the deformation so this is a quick and dirty way it is nowhere near to use it in the production and for that we would we would be using a shortcut which is transpose master so let's begin i have made a shortcut here you could also ship the zip toggling here and use transpose master from here so at first what i will do is i will just click t pose mesh okay and it will just calculate and give me a separate sub tool all right this is a separate file which says t pose 1 class 6 which is the file of this model so now i will use the mesh okay i will turn the floor off and i will use the lasso tool max lasso and for that if i press shift f i would see that this model is divided into several polygroups and uh, i need to mask the entire head around the neck without masking the shirt or the arms and for that i will use the max lasso always as well as i will use the polygroups okay so first of all i will just click control shift and tap it to make this part isolated it is using polygroups all right and now just i will use the max lasso tool and max around his neck okay make sure i only use the masking around his neck for example the mask is quite gotten longer so i will just use the marks pen and just hold alt and remove the mark from here i'm making sure the marks only happens around his necks okay now we have the neck and the head selected i will control shift and tap again to make all the parts visible and now i will isolate each parts each parts and hide it okay i will click it hide it hide it click it i'm clicking control shift i'm holding control shift okay and just tapping and hiding at this point you already know how to use default functions or basic functions of polygroups okay click it click it and i have hidden all the parts together if i control if i click control and shift and drag it and i will just mask this part again 
now control shift tap it again now we have the head and all the pieces mass together i will hit control w and uh, now we have given a separate poly group uh, you don't have to do this i only do this because if i mistakenly unmask it i don't have to redo this process again okay now i need to use the gizmo tool and uh, first i have to mask it okay now i will just click this and reset the gizmo click it to center the mesh now the where the neck rotates i will hold alt and move the gizmo first i have to make the head tilted towards his right okay in the original concept it tilted toward his right now don't worry about the deformations the mesh will deform a lot the mesh will uh, mess up the sculpting so it is highly suggestible that before you go to your tertiary details pose your character first first sculpt it the primary forms even secondary form then pose it then before adding the tertiary or the small details do this after the posing the character so i will just move it until it is quite near the hand all right now i will rotate it really quick and see where i can get okay i am rotating it and uh, let's see it is quite intense i don't have to rotate it a lot just so that it it is looking on the left side okay let's see well it could work it could work and uh, i think i have moved the neck on the right sides a lot i will undo it and just try to move the neck a little bit but i have to make sure the pose is looking dynamic so let's push the character again rotate it until i am satisfied don't worry about the deformation here all right now i need to make sure that he is looking at the left side a really bit far just a little bit let's see if i hit control and clear the mask and uh, now i have to go back to the original pose because the polypaint is already removed and the mesh don't have any subdivision levels what this plugin does is that it do merge all the parts but without subdivision or any kind of details like polypaint so i have to go back and i will click this t post sub t to give to be to give the mesh the original position like it was before like the separate sub tools now it is calculating and see the magic that it is giving the model with all these separate sub tools and it has the pose model and if i were to do this without this plugin i would have to switch to every body every sub tool masking it individually then go back to fourth and uh, uh, that would have taken a lot of time this plugin is amazing and you don't have to download it it comes ship default with zbrush now i need to clean up a little bit if i see the pose is quite good all right i will isolate this part i will turn this solo on and just smooth out the neck okay at this point you just have to clean the mesh the model has already subdivision levels so i don't have to worry about cleaning up a little bit i need, do need to fix the neck a little bit uh, this method of posing the character with transpose tools is messy and uh, you have to quite get used to it and it is also the dirty way but a quick way all right it is a quick way because because if you have used this model and it apologized it manually then go back to blender or any other 3d software and give it a rig to just pose it it would have taken a lot of time not that it is a bad thing it's a very good practice you could also sell the model on any other 3d platform uh, because it would be a game ready production model but uh, sometimes we just need to get things done and by that you need to find faster ways dirty ways and work smarter not harder way all right so this 
is a quick dirty way to pose your character now it's or is just the matter of uh, choosing all the parts and fixing the mesh and making it appealing now that we have posed this character okay we do have to think about the arms little bit it will go towards the air because he is doing a pose with the listening pose if you've seen the uh, hulk hogan it is a he was a former wwf player now known as wwe maybe you don't know him because from the 1980s or 1920 1990s even people do know him but after that he just retired even for me he was quite old when i started watching wwe it was john cena and rock era but i do i have watched several of his old videos and he was amazing all right now it's just a matter of time until i'm done with this character now all it remains is the arm what i will do is i will just push the arm to the side a little bit and i will do that with the same plugin which i use for the head which is the post mesh the option of the post mesh which is in the transpose master tool so after using the transform master tool i will just select the lasso mask and try to max out the arm remember i am masking if i am moving a body part i am making sure that the joints of the bones i am proper aligning it with okay i cannot just uh, rotate the arm from this angle i have to rotate the arm from this elbow angle so that the deform i don't have to work a lot for it okay the cleaner your uh deformation the cleaner your marks will be the cleaner your information about the human anatomy it will be easier for you to use the transpose master tool of course i have i will have to clean up the mesh but it will be a less work compared to figuring out the uh posing after posing the character so i have marked the arm and now i will isolate the band i will mark it also i will control shift tap and with the pen and now i have i will just hit control w to give it a single poly group so i don't have to do it over and over again now for that i will press t uh i will press y and to being the transpose master tool i for the rotation of every for the rotation in z brush i use transpose master most of the time it saves a lot of time but you can use gizmo 3d tool it's up to you so I, what i will do is i will just rotate it slightly make sure your uh, origin insert point of the transpose master or 3d gizmo is on the elbow okay make sure it was on the elbow and just rotate it click in the inner circle and try to bring it closer towards the ears all right now i will just go back to t pose sub t and we have a good posture for the character now i would have to clean up a little bit for example their heads needs to be fixed this comes after as i told you using the transpose master tool you would have to clean up the mesh a little bit for example in the uh, the palm i need to add a little bit more of a muscles or palm fat you can see to make it more appealing try to fix up the fingers as well but this is something i can do a touch up after recording the video my main purpose was to uh pose this character uses transpose master tool and i did it i just did it in this video so the topic has been finished what i wanted to explain you i hope you have understand it and this is model is finally done the more you put time into it it is better but there is one law i follow most of the time is that 70% if you've done the character 70% then you're done uh, if you feel like your character is done at least the 70% it means you can just finish off and texture it this is something philosophy i learned from an artist this helps me not stuck 
into my work most of the time sometimes we are stuck in a same loop over and over again and it will take take just hours hours and not finishing the model so whenever i feel like i am doing the same steps again and again i say to myself that did i did 70% of this model if the answer is yes then i say it quick and i go back to ui mapping and just uh, texture the character so guys this is it and uh, i will see you on the next video the next video will be about ui mapping okay i will do the ui mapping in zbrush the dirty way okay this is not a production ready model so stick with me uh, in the next video if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to the channel leave a comment drop a like join my facebook group if you haven't and as usual you can buy this model from my station store until see you next time please take care